Finding the perfect toy for my cat Fuji can be a real challenge sometimes. Because let's face it, all cats are different. They need and want different things. It doesn't really help me to know what Barbara from Swansea thinks about the Turbo Mouse Blaster 3000. I need to know what Patches from Catopia thinks about the Mouse Blaster 3000. <laughs> so today, my cat Fuji is going to be reviewing the top cat toys on the market. And let me tell you, she is a brutal critic. So I've separated the toys into three different ranges. We've got the low end, slightly cheaper toys. We've got the mid range, and then we've got the high end bougie toys. So let's take a look. First up, we have Trixie Spielzug. This is a very basic catnip filled rat. <laughs> Hello. What is this, Fuji? <laughs> this is what mice do. They get all cuddled up in her fur, thinking it's safe, but it is not a safe zone. Fuji. <laughs> Fuji, you love mice. It's your favorite thing. Hello. <laughs> not sure if it's because she's just had a big meal and that she's quite tired, or if she just doesn't give a shit about Trixie. I think the Spiel Mouse has so far been a disappointment. It's the cheapest, most basic little rat we got, so nothing that exciting about it. <laughs> Next up, Spider Taser, Teaser, Spider Teaser, Wiggly, Dancing, Spider Fun, and Games. <laughs> it's a spider on a string. Fuji is a spider catcher. She catches all the spiders in the house, so let's see if she catches a spider. What about a spider? Hey, Fuji? Oh. Oh, 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 the eyes are lighting up. Oh, she's going for the bite. Next. Next we have springs. They're just springs. I was not convinced by these before I bought them. I'm not convinced now that I'm holding them in my hands. But again, it doesn't matter what I think. Let's see what Fuji thinks. Springs! Now Fuji, I won't be offended if you think these are really crap, because they are really crap. What do you think about this? You want to inspect it? You sniff it? Boing. Boing. Oh, hang on a minute. She's, she, she went for it. Boing. Don't you just want to play with that, Fuji? Don't you just want to give that a little boing? boing? Fuji. Oh, boing, boing. I mean, it's... I thought this was going to be shit as well. It's what I expected. Boing. Don't you just want to go boing? Oh, Fuji's tail whip. It was super effective. Hunt. Vibrating crazy bug. Well, could, they, could they not say ladybug? Satisfies natural hunting instinct. Well, we know Fuji is a natural hunter. Ideal for interaction and bonding. Yeah, I think me and Fuji are overdue a little bit of bonding, so let's see what she thinks about the ladybug. I don't even like this, so I don't even I don't think Fuji's gonna like this. Oh my god. Oh. Fuji, what's this? <gasps> Fuji, what's this? Yes. <gasps> Yes. She's off the sofa. This is the first toy that got her off the sofa. That is huge. Ladybug's just m m losing his mind. A small level of intrigue has been achieved. That's good so far. This is a door frame hanging toy. We've never used one of these before, so I actually have no idea what she's going to think about it. <laughs> Moving on to the mid-range toys. First up, it's a gun. It's a, it's a gun. It's a blaster. It's a ball blaster. Hmm. Uh, it's just that's what it is. Let's have a look. This one's going to be a bit of a dud. Say hello to my little friend. Let's see what we can do. Hey, Fuji, what's this? <gasps> She, she's noticing the ball. She knows what's going on. But that might be the extent of it. Not too sure about the the ball gun. How about a second gun? This one is a spinner launcher. So let's see what she thinks about spinning things in the air. Maybe it'll simulate like a butterfly or something like that, which I have seen her catch many. Out of the sky, she's just... Look at this Steven Universe ass launcher. All right, Fuji, what's this? Let's see what happens. Fuji, what's this? Oh. <laughs> She's not hating it. I think the idea is they want cats to like jump up into the air and grab it. <laughs> slightly, maybe slightly freaked out by that one. Honestly, I think this one's more just fun for me. <laughs> It 
it's a flopping fat. Fat? <laughs> it's a flopping flat. Fl it's a flopping cat fish toy. That's hard to say. It's a flopping cat fish toy. It's a fish, it flops. Put the kettle on, get the fish going. I know how much you love fish, but what about a flopping fish? <laughs> the thing is, she's a smart cat. She knows it's not a fish. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> flopping fish is a bit of a flop. I mean, I'm quite entertained by it. It's, I think it's quite good. Chirping ball. Real animal sound. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. So we've got these colorful balls, and apparently they make real animal sounds. We've got a bird, which I'm sure she will love, a cricket, and a frog. Don't know if Fuji's ever met a frog before. You know what a treat is, don't you? Treat? Oh my god. Good girl eating the treat. What's this? Crickets? Well, it's crickets for this toy. <laughs> I don't know if she. I don't know what she thinks about this one. I was thinking for sure she would have at least been into the birds. She loves birds so much. She she watches birds. She talks to birds. Which one do you prefer, Fuji? Do you like the birds? Do you like the frog? Or do, that's more of a duck. Oh no, that's a frog. Or crickets. <laughs> Next. Holy moly. This looks like something that I would play with myself. This is the holy grail. The RC Mouse robotic pet toy. Are you kidding me with this? This looks incredible. This is surely going to be an upgrade from Trixie Spiel Mouse. I, I just look at this cat. He's so ready to pounce. Oh, is that for me? Is that for me? We have very, very high hopes for this mouse. If this mouse fails, then all is lost. <laughs> How she looked at you for permission. Like, can I get that? I'm losing connectivity. I only have so much range. <laughs> oh, it begins. The chase begins. Oh, it's upside down. Oh. <laughs> yes. All right, the mouse is an instant hit. She loves the mouse. Oh, she hit it. She smacked it. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> you gonna get the snake, the snake as well? Snake has gone down as well. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our upper end bougie toys. These are all 20 pounds plus, which for a cat who is pretty easily satisfied by a cardboard box. This is pretty fancy. They've put my address on the box, so I have to hold it very awkwardly. The Kitty Cat DJ Dex. It's a scratching toy, so hopefully this gives something for Fuji to go at. I love tuna. Run dog. <laughs> is that like run DMC? <laughs> See, I love all these cat toys. These are, for me, these are great. I would play with this for hours. The question is, will Fuji play with it? We've never really got her any cardboard scratching stuff before. She's never really had this kind of toy before. DJ Fuji in a She's, curious. she's very curious about the deck. When she normally does a DJ set, she normally has two, so she's probably a bit confused as to why there's only one. What's this? Scratch? Sniff? What do you think of Run Dog, Fuji? What's your opinion on Run Dog? Puzzle and play. Great for curious cats. Well, we know Fuji fits the bill. She is both curious and loves treats. So this is a Swedish invention. That makes sense. So the idea behind this game is that we're going to hide treats in these little compartments, and she has to knock these bits out of the way to get to the treats. So I think we start by just demonstrating how it works. So first of all, there's one here, and there's one there. Let's see if she can get those treats. Good, Fuji. Well done. <laughs> So she understands the premise of the game. Let's see if she can sniff that out. Luckily, we got super smelly treats, so... Good girl, Fuji. Let's see if she can move this to get to the tree. Fuji, treat. She knows exactly where it is. Yes, Fuji, well done. One, two, three, four. Can Fuji sniff out all the treats? As long as there are treats involved, this would keep her entertained for a long time. Oh my God, my cat's a genius, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Let's do one more. We're gonna do a leaf, a ladybird, a ladybird, and a leaf. Treats. Uncover the secrets, Fuji. Uncover the secrets within. She's also purring the entire time. Yes, Fuji. Other way. 
Other way. Yes, Fuji. Oh my God, it's working. I was so skeptical as to whether this was even gonna work. She got it. Well done, Fuji. That was a huge hit. My cat is so smart. <laughs> And our final toy today, priced at £22.94, our most expensive toy, Dream On, automatic robotic cat toy, three in one, cat laser, cat ball, and feather toy. So this is either gonna make Fuji lose her mind, or she's not gonna care. This is the big kahuna. This is the big, big toy. Oh. 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 Okay, the laser has sparked something feral within her. <gasps> yes, Fuji. Yes. She's like this wide stance. <laughs> She's ready to catch anything right now. <gasps> That's it, Fuji. Get it. Get it, Fuji. This spinning thing has definitely held her attention for a good minute. And so, I feel like my quest to understand the mind of my cat has not progressed a whole lot. What have we learned about Fuji exactly? Well, I think we know now, unless it involves some kind of a treat mechanic, expensive toys, not worth it. I think the highlight for us both was the RC mouse. I think she enjoyed that it had a very similar scatty type of energy to a real mouse. And I have not seen Fuji move like that in a while. She lost her goddamn mind. I don't know where it went. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as Fuji enjoyed her small robotic mouse. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. All right, stay rad and I'll see you guys in the next one.